All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to code up uh, your game so you can move parts around. Right here, I actually have a rotate function on this for the y-axis. I'm not going to do that on this video. I'm just going to show you how to move the part. And then another video, how to place parts by hitting keys. And then the third video, how to do the rotations and stuff like that. So let's get started with a fresh world. So we start moving some parts around, maybe build a, get started on your Fortnite build tool. Let me pause the video here. And now I have a fresh world. So I'm going to get started with a part. I'm going to make this part my wall. So I'll call it wall. And on my wall, I'm going to have a Boolean value that says whether it's movable or not. Now, when I start placing the parts, I'm actually going to put my character name in a value here so that you can only move your parts. But here, everybody's going to be able to move any movable part. So I'm going to hit value equals true. And I'm going to change my wall so that it looks more like a wall. I'm going to make a brown on my brick color. My materials, I'm going to make it wood planks. I'm going to anchor it, hit anchored. And then I'm going to make the size, say, 10 by 8 by 0.5. And pull it out of the ground. All righty. Now, I'm going to put a remote event so that when I move it around on my client side, it's going to show up on the server. So go to replicated storage. Uh, hit the plus sign, add a remote event, call the remote event move re, move re, move remote event. Now let me get my local script under starter player, open that up, starter character scripts, hit the plus sign, hit local script, and call this something like move it loc, so you know it's a local script. And let's go get some variables. So local player game players there's my players local player we need our mouse and we'll get that from the player get mouse and we'll need a camera for our positioning purposes so workspace current camera we will need a variable for our target and it's going to be our wall but it might not be a wall it might be a roof and stuff like that in later videos so i'm just going to call it target all right, I'm going to make a variable for T ori for T orientation, and I'll make that nil. Uh, what else do I need? I need my T target. I need my remote events. Ooh, also I need a flag for down to make sure that my mouse, if I know my mouse is down or not. That should do it for those simple variables. Oh, let's get a run service for some smooth movement with our with our moving. We're going to do a a steps rendered on that so that's game get service run service and then we'll do local rs for replicated storage game get service replicated storage i know this is getting kind of hard isn't it and from replicated storage we'll get our we'll do wait for child move re but that's it that's all we need for our variables now let's go ahead and make a couple functions and I'm going to do a get target. That's going to get my target. I'm going to do a move a function for move target. Uh, target. And I'll move that up a little bit. And I'll get a function to finish the move. So I'll just say what finish. Oh my gosh. There we go. Finish move. Let's hook up those functions. So our mouse button one down, I'm gonna connect that to get target. Get rid of those two extra parentheses. Then for run service, we're gonna do our steps, our render, render stepped. I always say steps rendered. Rendered stepped. Render stepped, that's hard to say. All right. And that's going to fire every frame, so we get a nice smooth movement when we're moving our stuff. That's going to be move target. There we go. And let's see what's, what else we got. Button one up. We'll connect that. Oh, capital C. That's more the convention. Uh, finish move. All righty. So under our get target. Let's go ahead and make sure the mouse has a viable target. If it does, let's get that movable tag. Movable mouse target 
find first child that's movable. If movable exists and movable value is true, then let's get our target. So we'll say target equals mouse target. We'll get our T orientation. So our target orientation, if I can find my T, there we go. And I'll say target orientation. I always spell that wrong, orientation. All right, that's why I used T ori. And we'll use mouse target filter. So we don't get any strange stuff in the background. We only want our target, we want to filter on our target. And let's set our down flag to true because we have our mouse down. All right, now let's do the moving part, right? So moving is connected to our render stepped. So it's gonna fire every frame. So we should be careful, make sure that the mouse is down when we're sending our events, because we're gonna send a remote event. We're gonna get the position of our target, right? So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use the camera, the C frame, position, and then I'll use the mouse, unit ray, dot direction, multiply it by 25. So essentially we're going in the direction we're looking with our mouse um, using the C frame position and uh, placing our wall. So if your mouse is really scrolled back, we're going to be placing the wall 25 studs away from, from that, which means you could feasibly add the wall behind you if you're really scrolled back. All right, so you can play around with those, those settings. We'll say fire server, and that's gonna, we're gonna set our target, we're gonna set our position, and we're gonna send our T Ori. All right, now we'll finish our move. Let's just go ahead and move this up a little bit. So when we finish our move, our mouse came up, right? So the down flag is now false. Mouse target filter is nil, and target is nil. And T Ori, we'll go ahead and make that nil too. Good. All right. So now let's go over to our server side and finish our move. So go to server script service, hit a script. I'll we'll go ahead and say move it because we had to move it local. This is going to be move it server side. And I've got local RS for replicated storage game. And I need a colon get service replicated storage local re from replicated storage. We want to wait for child move re. All right, I'll say local function move part, and I'll get the player that's going to come over free. We'll get we'll we'll get our target. I'm going to call it part here, uh, the position and. Ori, I'm just going to say Ori because I'm having trouble hitting my T's. Um, then all we do is get our part, set the position, set the orientation. Part position equals POS. Part orientation equals Ori. Hook up our remote event on server event. Connect it to move part. All right, let's see what we got. Let's go ahead. Hopefully I don't have any errors. Let me check my output window. View, output, nope, looking good. Ooh, we're moving the part. We're moving the part. All right, so I hope you had a good, uh, a good time on this video. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Let me know if you have any questions. Next video, we're going to create the part. We're gonna hit like a Z or an X or a C and it's gonna add a part a ramp, a wall, or a roof.